There's an old stagecraft trick called the Pepper's Ghost Illusion, where real life actors would be up on stage performing and suddenly a ghost would appear next to them on stage. Now, whilst it looks like it's magic, it's actually just science. It's the law of reflection. How far behind the mirror is the image? Well, let's do some experiments to find out. This experiment is called Image Finder. There is a lit candle on one side of the glass, and on the other side of the glass, there's an unlit candle, which is moved around until it looks like the flame is coming from the unlit candle. Then the distance away from the glass is measured on both sides, and we find the distance is equal. So therefore the image is the same distance behind the glass as the object is in front. Let's take a closer look at what is happening to the light rays. Here a light box is set up with a three slit card and the rays are diverging. The incident rays are marked and then the reflected rays are marked. The rays are continued to a theoretical point where they cross over. This represents the location of the object and the location of the image. Again, the distance from the mirror is the same or it should be the same. It's probably no real surprise to you that images we see in a mirror are laterally inverted. Well, that is, they're back to front. But yet, they're the right way up. Mirrors don't really reverse anything. They just simply reflect what is directly in front of them. The image of everything in front of the mirror is just reflected backwards, retracing the path it traveled to get there. So, okay, you ready? So, when I get to that point, if you just remove it, okay? So, imagine you're sitting, watching theatre 100 years ago, and there's real-life actors on stage, and then suddenly, next to the actor, a ghost appears. <laughs> That's it. That's what I want. Exactly. All right, so can we do that one more time? Sure. So, the way that the Pepper's ghost illusion is constructed is to have actors that are being illuminated. Then we have glass at 45 degrees. On the other side of the glass, we have our ghost that's also being illuminated. So when the ghost isn't being illuminated, you can't see, you can't see the ghost. But then when the light goes on the ghost, the ghost appears. The modern application of Pepper's ghost illusion is the teleprompter. The talent looks directly at the camera as they read the text reflected off the glass. The camera doesn't see the text at all. This is the same principle as heads up displays in modern cars and fighter jets. The law of reflection states that when a ray of light reflects off a surface, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Which of these objects reflects light? Well, they all do. The reason we can see anything that doesn't produce its own light is because light reflects off the object into our eyes. Not everything produces an image though, and images are only produced when the surface is very smooth and all of the reflected rays are parallel. Otherwise, on a rough surface, all of the reflected light rays reflect off at different angles. The light is scattered and no image is formed. When suddenly a ghost would appear next to them. <laughs>